Hi, welcome to my channel. And today we're just going to talk about the azelaic acid and what is azelaic acid and what are my favorite brands to go and buy. So we're going to discuss about the most hyped product that is the azelaic acid by The Ordinary that is azelaic acid suspension 10%. At first, we're gonna discuss what is azelaic acid. So, azelaic acid is nothing but a saturated dicarboxylic acid. It's a natural ingredient and it's an organic compound. So, it has a chemical structure, something like this. And uh, it also is uh, present, uh, or else it, you can extract it from the cereal grains uh, like wheat, gray and barley. Other than getting it from the food source, so we have microorganisms present on our skin. So these microorganisms produce it naturally by biosynthesis. So the microorganism that produces the azelaic acid on our skin is the Malassezia furfur. It is a yeast microorganism that is present widely on your skin and it produces this azelaic acid naturally. Now let's just discuss what does azelaic acid actually do. So it has different benefits and one of the benefits is that it has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. So when we talk about what is anti-inflammatory property, so when you have an acne prone skin, all the pimples and the acne is all over your cheek and your forehead area as well as your chin. So it goes, it goes and reduces the inflammatory activity that is happening and it reduces the redness from that area. And also it tries to stop the growth of the unwanted microorganism that causes acne. In the world of skincare, the dermatologist always uh, prescribe patients with acne uh, the azelaic acid uh, um, cream. So these creams are in a bit more higher tendency in the market where you can find them for 15 to 20 percent. Well, uh, this uh, cream by the uh, ordinary is like 10 percent so it is like uh, a very less percentage and if you want to put it into your everyday skin routine i think you should start from the lower percentage and then jump to the higher percentage one of the amazing uh, property of the azelaic acid is that it acts as the exfoliator so it is one of the mildest exfoliator when you compare it with the ordinary's aha bha solutions it is also anti-comedinol. So when we talk what is anti-comedinol, it has the tendency to clean the pores. So it avoids any sort of clogged pore kind of uh, process that's happening on your skin. So it actually has a lot of benefit when it comes to the texture of the skin. It actually leaves it soft, supple, and it acts as an antioxidant. So azelaic acid is like, wow. And I don't know why people don't use it a lot. Not a lot of them have heard about it. But azelaic acid is something that if you put it into your skincare, it won't cause any sort of harm to it. This is also used in the treatment of the rosacea. So you know that rosacea is a skin condition which doesn't actually has any proper cause. So it is redness, swelling, a lot of huge pimples. It looks really ugly when you have it on the skin. So it is also used in treatment of rosacea by acting as an anti-inflammatory uh, property to reduce the inflammation on the skin and also reduce the redness appearance near the pimple. It is also used by the uh, dark skin people for treatment of hyperpigmentation. So when you have a dark skin tone, you tend to hyperpigment very easily. Even if you have any sort of a scratch or else you apply some other chemical on your face which is not suitable for your skin type, you do get a pigmentation. So azelaic acid helps in the hyperpigmentation and reducing that pigmentation marks and also helps in melasma. So this is like one of the chemicals that you need to put into your skincare because it has all positive uh, effects on the skin. 
Azelaic acid also uh, in, um, inhibits the tyrosinase. So when we talk about tyrosinase, it's like a rate uh, limiting enzyme. So it is kind of controlling the production of the melanin in uh, our skin. So you guys know that melanocytes actually produces the melanin, which actually causes the pigmentation on the dark skin people. So basically it kind of inhibits the tyrosinase. So see the plus point again. Why I really, really like azelaic acid is because it acts really well with other ingredients and other actives like niacinamide and salicylic acid. I have incorporated it into my night skincare routine after applying the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% solution. I All I do is like I layer it up with the azelaic acid. And when I layer it up with the azelaic acid, it kind of has this very mild peeling effect, but it's kind of negligible. But yeah, it has actually uh, helped with the texture of my skin. The, uh, the pimples has been reduced and the pigmentation marks are slowly fading. So this is why I really, really like azelaic acid. The Ordinary is super affordable, it's super cheap, so I would highly recommend to start with lower percentage. And this is the one that you should try out and you will see a huge difference on your skin. Okay, oh. <laughs> now it's time to share with you guys which is the first product that I would recommend other than The Ordinary. is the Cesoderm as a leg root facial serum. So it is a bit expensive. It is $52 for 30 ml of the product. So if you can afford it, I would highly recommend to get this serum because it's really, really good. The second one is the green tea face mask of the Bliss and it has azelaic acid as well as green tea extracts. So it's like an overnight gel. So you can apply it at the night and then you can wash it off in the morning. And it is really, really affordable because it's just $15. And then to the uh, next and the last uh, product that I would recommend is the Tula Skin uh, Skincare. So Tula Skincare is having this toning correcting gel and uh, it also has the azelaic acid. It's also on the expensive side because it is for $36 for 30 ml of the product. So that's it for this video and uh, I hope that uh, I just got all the points that was necessary for the azelaic acid and I made it clear why is it really good to have it in your skincare routine. So make sure that you like and subscribe and just always stay in touch because I will come up with more new videos and I'll see you soon. Bye guys and I love you.